Hey guys, um, I'm Captain Coran, the uh, shift safety officer for Sea Shift. Uh, this month's training uh, video, we're just going to do a quick thing. Everybody's been coming in this past month for doing SCBA failures. Uh, I got Firefighter Samson with me. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the different failures and just go through a few of the little bit of the steps, um, some things just to think about um, as we're doing them. Uh, the first one we're going to we're going to go through free flow. We're going to do loss of demand. Uh, we're going to talk about a catastrophic mass failure, um, and then we're going to talk about high pressure line if your high pressure line is cut, what that looks like, um, and then we'll just kind of do a, a little bit of looking through the rig pack and, and, and the mass change. So the first one is just going to be uh, if you got some type of free flow, right? So you got free flow, uh, you got air just flowing constantly. First things remember, we want to do that cheek to cheek. Our first thing is going to make sure our bypass is shut. Um, and if it's, if it's shut and we're still flowing, then we need to make sure we regulate uh, with our bottle here. So that's going to be, make sure we got, uh, and then the, if we can't get the, the free flow to stop, make sure we're going to call this a mayday. Uh, and then we're going to exit our ideal H. As with all of other maydays, the main things is, I know we've talked about lunar before, um, but the main thing is if we can get who, what, and where, right? So we would need to know who it is, where they are, what's going on, what they need. Um, and then we can fix, try to get somebody, get some help, the Rick team in there to help them. So that's, that's uh, free flow. Now, if we got loss of demand, He's sitting here, he's running out of air. Same thing, we're gonna go that cheek to cheek, right? So he's gonna open that, his bypass, make sure he's flowing air, make sure he gets some good air, make sure his bottle's turned open all the way. Go ahead and call the mayday um, and exit the IDLH, letting somebody know, hey, this is what's going on, we're getting out. Um, and then remembering then that who, what, and where, who you are, where you're at, what you may need, and what your, what your plans are, either if you're coming out or if you're gonna need some assistance. Um, the, the next one uh, we'll talk about is if they have a, a uh, high pressure line cut. So say your high pressure line hose is cut. Um, what you got is you have about 90 seconds. If you that's on a full working bottle. So if you have a cut, you're working in the in in some type of uh, atmosphere when your high pressure line gets cut. From start to finish, you have about 90 seconds before you run out of air, and that's with a full bottle as you start. So really, most likely, you're in there working. The line gets cut. You're probably going to have a lot less time than that. So that's an immediate failure. We got to get out uh, right away. Um, and then the last one is if we have some type of catastrophic mass failure, uh, we want to cover cover the uh, the, the damage with our glove. We want to make sure we uh, we're getting out the best as quick as we can. Same thing, we're going to call in a mayday and uh, exit in the structure. All right, so continuing with the SCBA refresher, going over our RIT bag. It's an important tool for RIT team, RIT crew operations. Um, here, USC connection, high pressure hose. Uh, differentiate this between that buddy breather hose. A lot more stiffer, a little bit thicker in diameter. Butter be the hose, a little more pliable, gives you a little bit more reach. Remembering when it comes to USC, it's the left side of our pack. Make sure we get a good clean connection. Once that bottle has transfilled and equalized, DC it, put it back in our packs. Same thing, butter breather. Take our rubber pieces off. You can go male or the female connection to the butter breather pack of our down firefighter. Once again, keep these things clean and free of debris. Check them in the mornings. Another thing, another trick we can do, don't have to be an expensive flashlight, little Dollar Tree flashlight taped onto the end of this will help us when we're working in those smoky conditions. With that, those connections, make sure our face piece. Some people keep the webbing over. Over time, that mask will start forming and fold in on itself. So we keep that webbing pulled over to to the front covering the mask. That'll be really beneficial for us, especially if we have to do a face piece swap in those ideal eight situations. Once again, check your regulators, make sure they're good, make sure there's no cracks or tears. If there is, replace them as if they were an actual working line pack. Um, same thing, Velcro, if we have webbing, cutters, um, waist strap extenders, Make sure our Velcro is good. You don't want to pick up this rip bag and your Velcro is not sealed. Dumping our stuff in ID, it's making it harder to find. All right, now we're just going to go over a face mask swap. Um, before we even deploy it as a RIT team, first thing we want to do is make sure our bottle's turned on completely. Once we have that bottle turned on, just check. Make sure we've got air flowing through. You can use the buddy breather in that situation. Our gauge should indicate how much is in the bottle. Make sure our mask is set up how we want it for a face piece swap. Make sure everything, all components are there and together.
After being deployed, once we get to our down firefighter, the first thing we want to do, first thing we want to do is confirm who do we have. Captain Coran, he's sitting here. We're going to get him sit up. Get him up, he'll be on his pack. Samson will then get behind him and start DCing his helmet, getting that hood off, getting that face piece loosened up. As a second firefighter, getting his face piece ready, make sure all straps are loose, face mask is pulled over so that when we do do our face piece swap, we can roll under the chin and be able to easily flip that net over behind the firefighter's head. We're gonna get ready to be the hose, go ahead and make that connection. Purge is going to be open. I want that purge open so that any bit of smoke will be blown away as we do this swap. Once again, Samson's going to make sure that chin's up, head's kind of pulled back. I have the purge open. Samson's going to give me a count. One, two, three. Roll in. Samson's gonna strike, tighten down those face piece straps, make sure we've got a good seal. We wanna once again check, hold our breath for ourselves, make sure that down fire fire is breathing, taking a breath. Once he has that seal, Samson's gonna get the hood back on, get our helmet on, we're ready to package our patient and get him out the door.